Hey guys, Defender here again, playing Amnesia The Dark Descent. Now, uh, I had, <laughs> I had a quite a fun time with the, uh, monsters, so let's just go on and, uh, let's go say hi to them, because it's, it's been a while since I played this. So, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, fuck, you're already here. Yeah, what was that? Was that a stack of potatoes? Probably. Yeah. He's just, he's having a fun time over there. Oh. No one's through this door, man. I'm just saying. No one's through. Don't, don't you come over here. Don't you come over here. I'm holding the door shut. I don't... No. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Don't do not do this to me. Don't do this to me. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping he's really close to the door so I can like... Okay, he's, he's running. Oh, don't slam the door. Okay. I have nothing to defend myself with other than this this, this thing. Okay, you know what? I'm taking my I'm taking my bag and I'm going to beat the crap out of him with it. Don't you don't, don't you come around these parts. I got my bag or whatever the heck this is. And also I think I'm out of oil as well. No, I have a little bit. Okay. Oh don't drop them. Don't drop them. Okay. We're gonna hop on this thing. We're gonna light this. And this is this is gonna be my second sanctuary, so I can Take a look around, this is my perch. Alright, so he's not here. Good to know. Let's grab this and go on. Okay, alright. So he doesn't seem to be around here just yet, so that is nice. I hope he's back in here. I'm gonna slam this door and see what happens. Put the dice here. Ah, oh, should be fine. There we go, shut that door. Okay. Just gonna keep. I, I just know he's gonna pop out of nowhere. He's gonna say hi to me. Oh come on, where are you? I need to come up with a name for him. I haven't come up with a name for him yet. Okay, so I got the what is it? The dowsing rods, I think. No, the cycle rods, and that is for the elevator. I want to say, if I remember right. Of course, it's been it's been a very long time since I played this. So, oh fuck you, man. Fuck you. Okay, so he is... He's somewhere. Ah, oh, this is a bad spot. There was, th there was three barrels over there that I could have hid behind. Gosh dang it. There, there's a... Oh, he's a coming. He's a coming. Okay. We're going to the barrels. We're going behind the barrels. Come on. I'm just going to smack the barrels around. Don't mind me. I'm crouching. I'm hidden. I'm not hidden at all. Dude, stop going insane, you know, we're, we're not, okay. Let's, okay, so, hmm. I, this is a bad spot to be in. It's, oh, there we go. Got a bag of something. I'm gonna use this, this is my weapon of choice, you know. You just put whatever you have in a bag, and you just, you just tie it up and you use it as a weapon. Okay, so it seems that he's gone, or he's turning around. Buddy? Friendo? I distract him. And I run! Oh shit! Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine! I don't know what we're talking about. What is he talking about? I'm just gonna ma make my way to the door and get the heck out of here. Let's go back to the back hall. Alright. Oh, thank god. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet has been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. So that's going back to Daniel before he lost his memory. Uh, that's just a little recap. Of all things, I was I was able to do that. Is there still chasing me or is that the goop? Now we're fine. Ah, oh, the goop. The goop is in this room. Oh man, you know. Oh, and now there is a dead dude. Oh, it's pulsating. Ugh, ugh. Okay, now there's blood in the the lines there. But now I can do a thing over here. I can just open the door. All right, so Alexander, the guy I'm trying to f trying to kill for whatever reason, he went down there in that elevator. So I need to go in here to the machine. Um, Garbar? No. Mm, oh, there's another door. That's sorry. I'm so it's my bad. Uh, there's another door somewhere. I remember that kind of it up here. No, this is the uh, one room. Study. I've already been in the study. 
the guest room. I don't think I've been in the guest room, but there was another, there was another door somewhere. I feel bad that I don't know where it's at. I'm pretty sure it's not down there because that is blocked. God, where is this freaking thing? Oh yeah, only only the most professional, you know, let's player Dave Vendor, you know. Oh, where was it? Son of a gun! I should have reviewed the footage. My old video. Oh god, you know what? I'm gonna I'll cut it here until I figure out or something happens. But I'm I'm, I'm incredibly sorry. So that's uh, just cut it here. All right. Okay, so. I am back and I realized that I got the crowbar here, but I never used it on the door. So I can. If I get up. There we go. Aha! I can get here. Okay, we get a flashback. The key. Please let it be here. Okay, so the key. An important key is hidden in the guest room. Alright. I love, I love how it's nice and lit so you know I'm no longer going crazy and you guys can also see what's going on. Anything in the window? Got some shirts. There's a note here. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Hey, you're telling me, man. Mystical orbs and monsters and crap going on. So I think maybe the monsters were a means of finding the orb? Okay. Yep, alright. We're going in. Yeah, better find a, we better find a place to hide. There's no means to defend yourself. Yeah, no kidding. There's nobody in this one wardrobe that just happens to be closed. The other one is completely open, but don't look in the closed one because there's there's nothing but clothes in here. Also, don't mind the guy talking behind the doors as well. Yeah, he's crazy. Don't worry about him. Oh, ugh. okay. Um, I shouldn't. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely not opening that. I was. I was. Yeah. Did he just? Did he just open the door? In a middle door. Okay. So it sounds like he left. And I'm assuming that key's gonna be behind this painting, because it's kinda crooked! Aha! Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. I'll just be taking this. Oh, I get a bottle. I get a. I get a break it. I chow. Wow, that's an epic throw. All right, got the machine room key and this nice painting. I'm taking this painting with. Now, this is my new weapon of choice. I always find a new weapon to use against the monsters. Actually, I'm just gonna set this nice painting over here. And I was, oh, what is going on? Oh, it's the cockroach! I, I, I'm sorry, I like went dead silent. I literally thought those were footsteps. But this painting, there's a bunch of people going up to some lady in a cave with a bunch of babies. That's not weird at all. Let's throw that across the room and get the heck out of here. And get to the machine room! Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Now, I don't remember who Professor Taylor was, but, uh... I'm hearing strange noises again. Lovely. Okay. So now, we can get into the machine room and figure out what's going on there. But I could have swore I saw a place that needed the rods, though. I don't know, I may just be going crazy. I may just be getting deja vu. Maybe I have a little bit of amnesia going on. Wink, wink. It's locked. I need you guys to have the key for that. There we go. Let's just go through this thing. He flipped through the book of monarchs looking for etchings and counted nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Okay, so the king, it's the king's orb. Oh, lovely. 
All right. Already walked in this place, and the cockroaches in my brain are starting to make noises. That sounded completely crazy, but that uh, is uh, oh, it's in the fifth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office oh, you and pick up bitch. an address book along with some relevant. Break it in my office. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. Mm. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. Oh. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, oh, was killed well, last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Hmm. People mysteriously die. What the heck is this thing? I'm not, you know, I don't know what the heck that does. It's probably a thing I'll have to do later on, but. So then, oh, ten bucks. I'll take you. And I'll take you with me. Okay. Let's stop, let's stop get losing our minds. Let's look at the light. Just look at the light, man. You're fine. I'm going to take this chair. This is my chair now. Note to self, always pick up a chair and carry it through with you. Ooh. It's a valve that I don't need. Chair! You can sit right there and, you know, keep an eye on that valve. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, the lanterns have physics. That's awesome. Okay, what is down here? Any machines that need about three rods of different colors? Anything in here? I can't help but feeling that monster is, isn't given up. Oh, there's a note. There's a book as well. I'm just going to send it over there. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book. My and address book? Varying importance. Now you're taking my shit. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. Hmm. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, and hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Okay, so Mr. Daniel is all oh, we got a thing here. Is being uh threatened by some unknown thing. But it's probably Herbert knowing him, that old that old man with the blue rope from Family Guy. Okay, so the machine uh, equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in storage for the uh, elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three could, would crack again. Okay, so this this is the machine. Tractical fluxus flu. Okay, so is there a specific way? I just think I just, I just oh, okay, I just put them in there. Okay, am I just, am I getting these in the right order? I can't tell. Okay, I guess that was correct. All right, I am just a genius, and I'm slowly going insane for whatever reason. Cause I'm not looking at the lights. Okay, so I, I guess that I guess that worked. Um. Okay. Um. Maybe this is a puzzle. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this. Yeah. So I'm assuming this, this goes somewhere, but I don't know how I can tell if the steam is working or not. I don't, I don't know. 
What's down here? Is there, am I supposed to be doing a thing that is a no? 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? Maybe. How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. Terrible. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Oof. Okay, so I guess that uh, Alexander didn't quite actually know what's going on here. And missing cogwheels. I'm looking for cogs now. And they got me doing everything. Okay, so... Uh, oh, was this a? That's probably a cogwheel I need, so that's important. I'll just throw that there. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it here, um, and uh, mess around with these for a while and see if I can figure out the right combination. All right, all right. Oh, four fades. Trinity. Flew. Aha! Okay, so that was that was way easier than what it was supposed to be. So I'd probably only cut out just. A little bit of me thinking here. There's also I'm gonna need this as well. I guess I don't, don't need that either. But I'm gonna need these cogs. Just ugh. oh, I'm so strong. Been lifting all those those barrels. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Just got, I don't know. I, hopefully, I need two. I think I only saw two little spokes for the gears. There we go. Hey, Hooah! Go. Also, I hope there's no monster here unless he'd be hearing me throwing all these cogs everywhere. Hit! Hit! And we'll just. Oh, this, this cog build does not fit in the place, of course. Eh. Oh! Alright, I'll just slap that in that one. This cog build does not fit in that spoke. Okay, my goodness. Alright. Let's stop going crazy. Let's can we light one of these? Yes, we can. There we go. Look at the light. Get all nice. What am I supposed to do with this? That did a thing. There's nothing in the burner for it to ignite, so I need to find something to throw in the fire. How about a nice box? Oh, there's a cogwheel. <laughs> I've been so random with this. I'm like, oh, what is this? What's that? Oh, that's the thing. Let's just throw that over there. Okay, so let's slap that on there. There we go. And then can I pull the switch? Machinery needs more work before it'll run. Oh, okay, so it probably needs that. Uh, and I assume there's probably some whispering damned souls in here, of course. Can I pick up the shovel? Yeah, gotta get some coal. Okay, all right, let's do it. There we go. Yes, dude, stop going crazy. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, Bobby, stop going crazy, god damn it. I don't know how many pieces of coal we need, but see if I can throw one from here. Yeah. Damn it. I can make this. Get, just pick the coal up. Yeah. Oh, oh, do I have to gracefully, gracefully pull it, my man? Hachow! Burner needs more coal, of course. There's one piece wasn't enough. We need two. I'm gonna freaking jam pack this thing full of coal. I'm gonna make this. It's probably three, you know, the ma the mystical number of everything. There you go. There you go. Watch all. Shut that. Make sure the flames don't go too crazy. Make that go. Sure. What? What other work do you need me to do? I mean, it's probably all those levers that I just totally neglected. But I don't know any of the order that it needs. Okay, that was the steam. I thought it was the chase music. I was a little, a little worried there. Okay, is there anything in here that I needed to do? There's a valve that looks like it almost needed to be moved, but that's not... It's, I guess it's not needing any work. So... Anything there? So this is being powered now, so what is this? Pressure. Oh man, this is lagging like there's no tomorrow. Uh, yeah, 
just uh, one, uh, two, and then four. Okay. Okay, so maybe. Okay, so this is a puzzle, so I'll need to figure this out. So again, I will cut this and I will try to figure this out. Oh, oh, okay, oh, jeez, Louise, okay, I didn't expect that to work, but I, I'm back, and I got that working, so I, I guess the machine is now, maybe now. The stone is cold, or did I have to redo that thing? I thought I may have got everything going, but, yeah, well, I guess we'll check the coal thing. Okay, so that was a complete chance, oh my god. Ugh! This is game. This game is wonderful. I love everything about it. But ugh, Jesus. Yeah, this is this is going. Anything else that needs in there? There's a bunch of burning coals. So this is going. That is going. So I'm assuming that it's done. But it still says I need to power the engine. Oh no! I need to hit the switch. Bam! <laughs> All right. Now we got the elevator working, and the goop has followed me. Oh god, the goop! The red it filters through. Let's, let's get, let's just get through. Let's get to that nice elevator. Oh, oh, King Jesus! I was afraid I was gonna get stuck in there. All right. Okay. All right. Just gotta step in the goo. I don't like stepping in the goo. I'm afraid it's gonna do something. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. Okay, so I, I, uh, I already read that. If you wanna, if you wanna hear what I said, you can just go back a little ways, and uh, or just read it right now because apparently it's loading a lot. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. The goop is following me. I'd better run to the elevator at a very slow pace. Okay, let me just shut these. There we go. There, bam! Alright, we're going somewhere. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Okay, so I'm now in an elevator going somewhere. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was my stop, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Ah, man. Oh, okay, that one's not it either. <laughs> I should be patient and stay in the elevator. Because, you know, you don't want to be jumping out and smacking your head on some rocks. Okay. And the goop is following me now. Hell, probably. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm just going to crouch down. Okay, we're falling. We're falling. We're McFallen. Actually, we're not going. We're actually going too far. Okay, the whole thing. Gone to shit. We're dead. The morning sun flickered between the pine trees as the carriage approached the catch they approached the castle. My goal okay, my game did something there. Uh yeah, faint memory of reflection in the window pane. Repeat itself over and over again. Okay. Oh, where am I? Oh my back! I think I broke both my ankles. Oh, I'm crawling. <laughs> Oof. Oh and I'm I'm perfectly fine again, you know. I just fell through an elevator. Okay, we're getting a flashback. This way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Mm, no. Mm -mm. Mm, no. Dungeon, prison, doesn't matter. If there's an un at the end, I'm not paying for it. So, I will actually pick this up in the next episode. So, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this game, because I know <laughs> I am. The puzzles, they get a little, you know, they get a little iffy. But other than that, the game is amazing. So, if you can, if you ever get a chance to buy this game, or you've played it in the past, maybe pick it up again, because, oh my gosh, it is awesome. So, I, uh, as always, I hope to uh, Dave Finch you guys later.